Okay, I got a pretty interesting idea. Well, you know the ChatGPT. As far as I know, it's pretty good at generating text based on user input. So is it possible for the AI to make levels for Geometry Dash? Well, sadly, Geometry Dash levels are not text and this is a problem because ChatGPT is a text-based model, but thankfully it's not hard to represent Geometry Dash levels as text, because each level is just a list of objects in certain position with some kind of a scale and maybe rotation and so on. We can just read the level, get its blocks and represent them as something like this. This is basically a table where we have a block ID, its coordinates on X and Y, rotation and scale, and this should be pretty much enough to store most of the blocks as text. Well, of course, this doesn't include in triggers or anything because those are kind of complex blocks and so on. They have different data. And, and honestly, this is just too much to ask from AI. Well, okay, let's make some kind of a script that will convert geometry dash levels into text and then we can feed it to ChatGPT. To work with levels, I'm going to use something called Geometry Dash API, which is a library that allows us to work with some game files, including the levels which we need. So this script will just print every single block in the format that I shown before from the level called AI. So let me demonstrate it to you. As you can see, in this test level, we have few spikes and one block. And here's the output of the application. It kind of makes sense, right? One being the block, 39 being the small spike, and eight being the regular spike. Here are the X and Y coordinates. And yeah, that kind of makes sense, right? So let's just go for the real thing. Okay, the next step would be to get the input data that ChatGPT will read and generate its own output based from. As an input data, I decided to give it levels starting from stereo madness and ending with, for example, time machine. So I just searched for original but copyable levels and saved them in my editor. So while I was there, I also removed every single trigger from each level because we don't have a support for triggers in our code. So I finished writing my scripts. It basically will just go through each level that I have in my editor, through each block in that level and save that in one huge file. The result kind of shocked me because I thought there were way less blocks in default levels, but here we are. Well, that definitely exceeds the limit of the ChatGPT input. If I remember correctly, it's about 4,000 characters or so. So we're just gonna take a small little chunk of the input data that we have and paste it into ChatGPT. Okay, ChatGPT, so can you make me a sequence something like this? Um, that's not what I asked ChatGPT. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I was wrong at the beginning and it generates garbage instead of actual usable data. Uh, okay, let's, let's try again. No, this is not the Fibonacci sequence. Can you generate me a sequence based on my input that I gave it to you? What even is this? What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, okay, let's start a new chat. <laughs> Can you generate a sequence of text like this? Oh my god, it actually asked me the purpose. Oh no. <laughs> okay, let's actually explain it to JGPT. What am I doing? So, it's a level in geometry dash, but converted to text. First column is ID, second is position X, third is position Y, and the last column is rotation. So let's see what we will get. Oh crap, it kind of misunderstood me because it thinks the ID that is like the sequential ID, but in this case ID is the block ID. Ah, let's try again. Oh my god, we finally got something usable and it actually looks promising. Wait, holy crap, okay. Let's wait until it generates completely and we'll see. Okay, I think it hit its limit and it just abrupt in the end. Well, let's ask it to continue it. Oh, well, that's interesting because instead of continuing it, it actually jumped to like 3000 on X coordinate. That means we'll have some kind of a gap between the blocks in Geometry Dash. Okay, let's let's continue. Okay, that is pretty cool, but it abrupted again. Let's continue again. And okay, I see a problem. As you can see, it just spams with the same blocks. ID2 on Y15, but at least it's just moving forward. So yeah, AI went kind of crazy. So let's, let's tell it to it. My apologies. Let me try again with more clarity to go to the... What the hell are you talking about? Just generate the freaking numbers. <laughs> I am not even sure what the hell are you talking about, AI? Okay, cool story, AI. Just generate some more. Oh my, no, not, not those. No, 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 generate the sequence. Oh my God, okay, we, sh we should stop. <laughs> I think we have an update just for a small little demo. Okay, now we have a backwards problem. We have the data as text. Now we need to convert it to level. No way. So I'm just gonna do some coding here and be back. Okay, for it to work, we need to make just an empty level where it will write stuff into. So let's open Geometry Dash and create a level. Let's code 111, for example. Okay, let's open our application. So the file that I saved the AI data in is called input.csv and the level is called 111. So boom, it's done. Let's open Geometry Dash and see what we got. I'm, oh my God, I'm excited. Okay, we got zero objects, uh-huh. Um, oh my God, wait, what? Oh, 
Oh, that, 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 what? <laughs> I didn't expect it for it to be this way. Oh, wait, no. Oh, do you see this? Wait, no. Oh, it's just time machine. Oh my god, it, it just copied the beginning from the time machine. But what is this? This is like garbage. And this is that the, 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 when the AI went crazy, yeah. <laughs> oh man, I, would, I was so excited for just a second, but that's just time machine. Yeah. And also, as you can see, the rotation doesn't work in the spice, so it's just like upside down. That's that's fine, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't like that. Let's try again. Okay, I'm gonna select a different range of objects in the file that we have. And let's start a new chat and generate the sequence again. Okay, I saved the input as level.csv and I also created a new empty level and it's just called AI. Um, done. Okay, cool. Let's open geometry dash and see. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, as you can see, we have a gap in the beginning and, oh, uh, well, yeah, we got something. Um, I wouldn't say it's good, but as you can see, it kind of understood that it needs to put the spikes on the bottom, like on the floor level. But I mean, it probably copied it from somewhere else. But what is this diagonal thing here? And yeah, as you can see, the rotation doesn't work as well. The spikes are also upside down here. Well, I'm kind of disappointed with the results because I thought it would generate its own text and maybe it generated its own and it just happened to be the same as in Time Machine. I feel like it would be better to make some kind of a model that will be trained on Geometry Dash levels, but oh my god, that's just too much work and it's not even worth it in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of sad. 